you're in the market looking for an ergonomic mouse and you want to know if a trackball mouse is for you, stay tuned. I've been using the Logitech MX Ergo Plus mouse, which is a trackball mouse for about a month now. And based on my experience, I'm gonna tell you if it's something that I'm still using as a daily driver or if it's become an expensive prop sitting in the background of my future YouTube videos. Welcome to The Wong Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. I'll go through some of the features of the MX Ergo mouse, how to connect it and set up the Logitech app, customize the buttons, and my overall experience from an ergonomic point of view. I'll leave chapter markers down below, so if you want to skip to the parts that you're really interested in, feel free to do so. As you're watching the video and find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. All right, so here is the MX Ergo Plus Advanced Wireless Trackball, and it's made by Logitech. And you have different angles here, zero, 20%, and 30%. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open it up. So right off the bat, it tells you when to turn it on. You can use the Bluetooth or using the USB dongle. There we go, setup. And you can switch between one and two devices, which is perfect for me between my MacBook and my normal computer, my desktop. So in terms of the accessories, it comes with two accessories. One is the charging cable. It's a USB type A to micro USB. I wish it was a USB C. And then this is the adapter that allows you to have a 30 degree angle when you set your mouse on top. Let's take a closer look at the MX Ergo Plus mouse, which I have here. So in terms of weight, um, there's a bit of heft to it. And I think it has to do with the metal plate that's at the bottom here, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, it does feel nice because it's heavier it does kind of keep it in place a little bit more. My other one was the older version of this, which I have, was very light and it was just easy to move around. And so with extra weight, it's kind of nice that it's stays stationary. Uh, right off the bat, if you touch, if you can see here, the different coloring here, this is a rubberized coating that's on the mouse, which is super nice. So you're not kind of touching the cold plastic. Um, and so having that rubber grip, I think just adds a little bit more of a premium feel to it and it feels a bit nicer and so I like having that rubber grip here as well. In terms of the features and functions, um, this is the indicator to tell you which device you're connected to. You can connect to two devices, so one and two, you just kind of select one or two. A uh, left to right mouse button which is standard. The mouse scroll wheel can go left to right, up down obviously, and you can also use it as a push button. Some additional buttons here and here you know, page up, page down, and then a customized thumb button as well, right here. In terms of the charging port, it is right at the front here, so it's a micro USB, so if any point um, it runs out of juice, you still need to use it, you can have it coming from the front, which is nice, so it doesn't interfere with uh, you using it at all. Uh, in terms of the side, here is the nice big gray trackball that you have here. Uh, feels uh, pretty smooth right now. And then if I turn it to the bottom, you have the on off switch. So this is a metal backing here. You can actually take that off and it allows you to access a rechargeable battery at the bottom um, back there. If you ever need to replace it, um, it does come with the, its own battery and it'll charge, but if you need to replace it, you can in the future. And then here is where you access the trackball. And if I push my pens in there, and the trackball comes out. And this is important because after a while, what happens is your skin or debris will cover these mechanical rollers and actually inhibit the, the trackball from moving smoothly. And you'll notice that the, you'll be scrolling up or down and it just wouldn't move. It's because it's, it has these dead skin, skin cells or, or debris that's hitting these mechanical rollers. So it's important that you know how to take out the trackball so you can clean this out. As I mentioned, in terms of accessories, um, there is an additional um, pad that you put on there to kind of put it at the 30 degree angle. Um, you just set it like this. And then and that just stays on there magnetically. And then, so if you want a different angle, so you can go left or right. And what I'll do now is um, I will show you the different angles that this is able to do. So let's change the angle view here. So when you first get the mouse, it's automatically defaulted to a zero degree angle where it's kind of flat going this way. 
here, you can tilt it because it's magnetic. And this is the 20% angle. So when you put your iron here, it is 20%. If you want it 30%, you just add the adapter that comes with it. And now it is, this is at 30%. Uh, for me personally, 30% is too high and I actually prefer the 20% setting so this is the most natural and comfortable for me having it set up like this there's two ways to connect to the mouse the first one is via a provided usb dongle or if your computer or laptop is bluetooth compatible my 14 inch macbook pro doesn't have the usb type a so i'm going to connect it via bluetooth under your bluetooth connection window the mx ergo comes up click on it and it automatically connect to it to fully utilize all the functions and features of the mx ergo mouse you have to install the logitech app I'll leave a link in the description below of the Logitech support page for the MX Ergo mouse. On the page, you'll go through and highlight some of the features and functions of it, as well as a download link for the support software that you need to fully customize the mouse. The app you install is called Logitech Options. And when you first open it, any mouse that you have connected to it will show up as a device. In this case, the app shows both the MX Ergo mouse and the MX Vertical mouse. And stay tuned for a future episode where I will do a comparison between these two ergonomic mouse and which one I use as a daily driver. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It goes through an intro. Support page goes through and highlights some important features and functions of the mouse. Logitech has some built-in app specific settings for the horizontal scroll button, like how it's highlighted here. Next, it goes through some predefined mapping for popular apps such as Google Chrome and MS Office products. You can scroll through the app icon to see the different mappings and I install the app settings as the default. Once it's all set up, you're presented with three options menu at the top, trackball, point and scroll, and flow. I'm going to focus on the point and scroll tab. Here is where you can adjust how fast the pointer speed moves in relation to the movement of the trackball. When I crank up the speed, one roll of the trackball will move the cursor further across the screen. If I slow down the speed, one roll of the trackball will hardly move it at all. And it's just based on your application. So if you're doing some fine tuning, such as uh, Photoshop or any kind of video edits, and I want to be precise to where I want to be, then I would scroll down the speed so that I have, I could control where the cursor is without being too jumpy. In the flow tab, it allows you to use your mouse across multiple devices as long as it's already connected through Bluetooth. I'll do a more in-depth video of this in the future. In the trackball menu, this is where you can customize the mapping of the buttons. For example, I'm going to change my thumb button. It gives you a long list of actions you can map the button to. In the example, I'm going to map my thumb button to show desktop. I've been using the MX Ergo mouse for about a month now. What do I like about it? I like the heft of it. I like how heavy it is in terms of once it's placed on the desk, I don't have to worry about it moving around. The previous older model uh, was so light that if you move it around, it just, it just kind of moves it around all over the place. And I feel that once it's set on your desk, it doesn't move at all, and that just feels nice and comfortable. The second thing I do like about it is the ability to adjust the angle between multiple, um, between 0, 20, and 30 degrees. So when I'm sitting at a desk and when I'm typing and I'm working at home, I like it having it at the 20 degree angle that just feels more natural in terms of my wrist. And then when I raise my desk, I have a stand-up desk, and when I'm typing, when I'm standing up, I actually prefer the mouse to be at zero degrees. So I like the flexibility of moving between zero and 20 degrees, depending on when I'm sitting or, or standing. The other thing I do like is they have what they call a precision, um, precision setting. So I, right now I have it on the very fast mode. So when I'm scrolling through my computer here, I don't have to like scroll, scroll, scroll to keep moving across. And one scroll moves it across the screen quite nicely. But if I'm doing some detail work such as if photoshopping or video editing, I can hit this button here in precision, which slows down the mouse so I can be a little bit more precise. I don't have to worry about the mouse jumping around. And the last thing I do like about the mouse is the fact that I can connect to it to multiple devices, so two devices. So I have my 14 inch MacBook Pro and I have my Windows desktop. And because they both have Bluetooth compatible, I can switch clicking one and two to go between either my MacBook or my Windows without having to reconnect or having to move a dongle. So, and so those are great things. And I also like the rubber texture feeling on here. It just feels nice when it's resting on your hand. So overall, I'm very happy with the MX Ergo mouse and this is definitely something I use as my daily driver at home. And 
Luckily, it's not just an expensive prop that I have in, in the background. At the end, there is nothing wrong with it, and I highly recommend the MX Ergo Mouse. If again, it's not for everyone. Um, it takes it does take a bit of time to get used to scrolling with your thumb versus moving your arm. All right, there's nothing wrong with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.